meniscal injuries, uh, it's, it's a very common uh, indication for knee surgery. And there's a higher risk in ACL deficient knees. Uh, medial meniscus tears are more common than lateral tears, uh, with the exception of, of the, in the setting of acute ACL tears, where lateral tears are actually more common. Degenerative tears in older patients usually occur in the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. There's a nice diagram showing the medial lateral meniscus uh, and its relationship to the ACL and PCL. You can have uh, a variety of different types of, uh, of meniscal tears. There's the vertical, the bucket handle, the uh, oblique flap or parrot beak, a radial tear, a horizontal tear, and a complex tear. These patients will present with uh, pain uh, on the medial lateral side, depending on where the meniscus tear is located. Uh, they can have mechanical symptoms, including locking and catching and they will be tender uh, on, uh, on exam. Uh, provocative tests include the Apley test, Thessaly test, the McMurray's test is very common where the knee is flexed. You place the hand on the medial side of the knee, you actually rotate the leg and bring the knee into extension. If this creates a palpable um, click with pain, this is a positive McMurray's test. Radiographically, uh, they should have normal looking radiographs. Uh, with a, an acute meniscal injury, uh, you can see calcifications in crystalline arthropathies. MRI is the most sensitive diagnos diagnostic test for meniscal injuries. Um, if, if there's a bucket handle tear, you may see a double PCL sign um, that's uh, indicative of, of a uh, bucket handle where the meniscus is actually flipped onto the, into the other side of, of the knee. Treatments uh, non-operatively include rest, uh, anti-inflammatory medications, and rehab. A partial meniscus is indicated um, for tears that are not amenable to repair. In terms of outcomes, uh, predictions of su success include uh, young patients, uh, if there's normal alignment, if there's no arthritis, and if it's just a single tear. Uh, meniscal repairs are indicated if the tear is uh, in the very periphery of the meniscus. Uh, in the red-red zone, which is the vascularized region. The rim width correlates with the ability of a meniscus uh, repair to heal. Uh, so a lower rim width has better sub blood supply and is, has a higher chance of healing. Uh, vertical tears, um, uh, these can be performed uh, combined with ACL reconstructions. And there seems to be a, a higher healing rate if it's done uh, with common ACL reconstructions. Meniscal transplants uh, can be uh, performed as indicated in young patients with near total meniscectomies. It's contraindicated if there's inflammatory arthritis, if there's instability, if there's grade four changes, if there's malalignment. The outcomes uh, require uh, about a year for them to heal. Uh, they can potentially return to sports about six to nine months. Uh, total meniscectomies aren't really performed anymore. Um, these universally all end up uh, with significant arthrosis uh, at 20 years. Partial meniscectomy uh, is commonly uh, performed for meniscus tears. Uh, you want to minimize the amount of meniscus resection. Postoperatively, uh, you want early range of motion. Uh, you don't want to pro uh, immobilize these patients for a prolonged period of time because it's detrimental uh, to healing. Meniscal repairs can be performed, uh, typically using an inside-out technique that's considered the gold standard. Uh, on the lateral side, uh, you want to develop a plane between the IT band and the biceps tendon, and then retract the lateral head of the gastroc posteriorly. There are all inside uh, techniques and devices. Uh, these are very commonly used today. Um, you can have some complications with device breakage or iatrogenic chondral injury. Uh, you can do open repairs. This is uh, more common uh, if there's uh, uh, in the trauma setting or if there's knee dislocations where you have the knee open anyways. To repair the meniscus, uh, vertical mattress sutures are the strongest because they capture circumferential fibers. Risks of uh, meniscus uh, repair uh, is risk to the nerves, like the saphenous nerve on the medial side and the perineal nerve on the lateral side. The technique for meniscal transplant um, uh, you have a meniscus uh, allograft uh, that has bone plugs, and uh, there you get bone-to-bone -bone healing. And then in the periphery of the meniscus, uh, you have vertical mattress sutures. Uh, it's important to get the correct sizing of the allograft, um, which can lead to improved success.
Complications include uh, stiffness, infection. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.